biography of world's famous international Indian cricketer Kapil Dev. Welcome to Mr. Biography YouTube channel. This video is about world's famous international Indian cricketer Kapil Dev. Watch full video and share it with your friends and family members. Kapil Dev Ramlal Nikhanj was born the 6th of January 1959 is an Indian former cricketer. Kapil Dev was a fast medium bowler and a hard hitting middle order batsman and was named by Wisden as the Indian cricketer of the century in 2002. Kapil Dev captained the Indian cricket team that won the 1983 Cricket World Cup and in the process became the first Indian captain to win the Cricket World Cup and is still the youngest captain, at the age of 24, to win the World Cup for any team. Kapil Dev retired in 1994, at the times of holding the world record for the highest number of wickets taken in Test cricket, a record subsequently broken by Courtney Walsh in 2000. At the time, he was also India's highest wicket taker in both the forms of cricket, tests and ODIs. Kapil Dev was the only player in the history of cricket to have taken more than 400 wickets, 434 wickets, and scored more than 5,000 runs in tests, 8, making him one of the greatest all-rounders in the history of cricket. Kapil Dev's all-round performance has been praised by cricketers including Sunil Gavaskar who regards him as one of the greatest all-rounders to play the game. Kapil Dev was the coach of the Indian national team between September 1999 and September 2000. On the 11th of March 2010, Kapil Dev was introduced into the ICC Cricket Hall of Fame. Kapil Dev Ramlal Nikhanj was born to Ramlal Nikhanj, a teak merchant and his wife, Raj Kumari in Chandigarh on the 6th of January 1959. His family moved to Farzilka after the partition before eventually moving to Chandigarh. Kapil Dev's paternal family is from Montgomery, now known as Sahiwal, and his mother was born in Pukpitan, Okra. Kapil Dev was a student at D. A. V. School. Kapil Dev made an impressive debut for Haryana in November 1975 against Punjab with a six wickets haul, restricting Punjab to just 63 runs and helping Haryana to victory. In the 1976-77 season opener against Jammu and Kashmir, Kapil Dev had a match haul of 836 in the win. While his contribution for the rest of the season was ordinary, Haryana qualified for the peak quarterfinals. Kapil Dev achieved his then best innings haul of 820 in just 9 overs in the second innings to skittle Bengal for 58 runs in under 19 overs. The finals of the 1991 season will be remembered for the number of international cricketers who participated, including Kapil Dev, Chetan Sharma, Ajay Jadeja and Vijay Yadav turning up for Haryana and Bombay cricket team represented by Sinjay Manjrekar, Vinod Kambli, Sachin Tendulkar, Dilip Winsarkar, Chandrakant Pandit, Solilin Kola, and Abhi Kurwala. Deepak Sharma, 199, Ajay Jadeja, 94, and Chetan Sharma, 98, helped Haryana to a score of 522 while Yogendra Bhandari, 5 wickets, and they 3 wickets, restricted Bombay to 410 runs in the first innings. A crucial 41 from Kapil Dev and top scorer Banerjee 60 took Haryana to 242 runs, setting Bombay a target of 355 runs. After the initial wickets, Winsaka 139 and Tendulkar 96 fought back for the Bombay team. After Tendulkar's dismissal, Haryana took the final six wickets for 102 runs and Winsaka and Bombay were stranded three runs short of the target. Kapil Dev won his Medan and only Ranji Trophy Championship. Kapil Dev played county cricket in England Northamptonshire between 1981 and 1983 and for Worcestershire during the 1984 and 1985 seasons. Kapil Dev Ramlal Nukhanj debuted as India's captain in the 1982-83 season against Sri Lanka when Gavaskar was rested. Kapil Dev's first assignment as regular captain was the Tour of West Indies, where the biggest accomplishment was a lone ODI victory. Kapil Dev 72, and Gavaskar, 90, led India to a huge score, 282 fifths in 47 overs and Dev's two wickets aided India to restrict West Indies for 255 and a victory 35, that Indian cricketers claim gave them the confidence to face the West Indies team in 1983 Cricket World Cup. 
Kapil Dev retained as captain for the 1987 Cricket World Cup. The captaincy period was on the whole a difficult one for him as it was mired with reports of differences with Gavaska, as well as his own inconsistent form as a bowler. Kapil Dev's performance as captain was better than as a player. Though Kapil Dev lost some of his bite, he remained an effective bowler for another 10 years and became the second bowler ever to take 400 wickets in Test cricket in 1991-92 when he took Mark Taylor's wicket in a series versus Australia in Australia. Stung by the betting controversy, Kapil Dev announced his farewell stating that I bid adieu to the game that gave me so much and then took a great deal of it away on the mere hearsay of a third party. Kapil Dev married Romi Bhatia in 1980 and had a daughter, Amiya Dev, on 16 January 1996. Kapil Dev pledged his organs during an event organized by Delhi Aerological Society on 31 January 2014 at the Airport Authority of India, Officers Club, New Delhi. On 23 October 2020, Kapil Dev suffered a heart attack and was hospitalized. Kapil Dev underwent an emergency coronary angioplasty at a hospital in Delhi. Kapil Dev has written four books out of these three autobiographical and one on Sikhism. Autobiographical works include, By God's Decree which came out in 1985, Cricket My Style in 1987, and Straight from the Heart in 2004. Kapil Dev's latest book titled We the Sikhs was released in 2019. 2016 Indian film Azaka, directed by Tony D'Souza, revolves around match-fixing scandals in late 90s and 2000s. In the film Kapil Dev's character was played by Varun Badola. Indian filmmaker Kabir Khan directed a biopic film, titled 83, about India's first World Cup win in 1983. The film features Ranveer Singh as Day One is produced by Nurag Kashyap and Kapil Dev has a cameo as a spectator. Thanks for watching full video about biography of famous international Indian cricketer Kapil Devsa. We hope you enjoyed the full video and shared it with your loved ones too. Humble request to you all please like share and subscribe my YouTube channel and help us to grow.